da 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 the Bake Bake Down. Welcome to the Bake Down Podcast. Where we discuss hot takes on hot bakes and welcome because today is Vlogmas Day 20. Oh my god, so little left but so many more fails. Yes. So now I'm going to show you a couple fails in okay. this one video. I'm ready. Well first we have the one that you sent to me and I said, what is this? <laughs> So I actually found this, you know when you're like randomly on Facebook and well, you know when you're on <laughs> Facebook <laughs> and you're scrolling through and sometimes if you're part of certain groups, then they want to recommend other groups to you. So just like random pictures will come up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use Facebook. It's okay. true. I don't okay. really, but so it's fine. <laughs> random pictures from other groups will also show up on your feed to entice you to join those groups. Right. So this was actually on a caking group, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, there are different types of groups on Facebook, just kind of like how you know Instagram versus YouTube yields different types of comments, right? right. So different Facebook groups will yield different types of comments. Okay. If you're a beginner caking group, a picture like this is going to be like, good job, like way to go, like here are some pointers that I have for you, or yeah. wow, that's better than anything I could do. Uh -huh. This particular one caught my eye and I stopped on it because I saw, I think it was like thousands of comments on this one picture. Really? Yeah. And wow. so the story behind this is that this is for a friend. Okay. So it was for a friend's wedding. Mm -hmm. So oh. before I tell you what the comments were like on that, what are your thoughts now that you know that this was used for a friend's wedding? I don't know. I feel like the fact that there were so many comments tell me that it was uh, in a group where it's like professional, more professional looking cakes. And this one looks like it looks like a beginner made it. It's like this was their first cake. I get it if it's like I don't know your friend for the longest time, and it's like more sentimental value. Like I'm gonna make a wedding cake just for you. And if if the the friend was okay with that, then all right, go friendship. Yeah, like I think this has everything to do with context. Yeah. So I think something that we have to realize is maybe it was like a backyard type wedding, yeah. super casual, like didn't even get married with the huge aisle and everything, just like really casual, mm -hmm. like a cookout almost. Yeah. That would be totally acceptable. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh huh. But I think in a lot of people's minds, it was just like a regular kind of wedding where you have the venue and all of that right. stuff. And so some comments were saying things like what you were saying and what I was saying, like the sentimental reasons, uh -huh. you know, it's fine. It doesn't have to be a perfect cake. But then other people were saying, it doesn't matter. You can't give that at a wedding, really? even for sentimental reasons. They're uh -huh. like, if your cake decorating is so low level that you are at this level, don't offer to make something like their wedding cake. You could do you could have done something like a wedding shower cake or like something like that, but not something so big like their wedding day and show up with something like that. Cause I feel like when when I think wedding, my first thought is like, yeah, the big grand wedding. But yes. also because we see so many like Totally. And we see nice so many over the cakes. top wedding cakes. Yeah. yeah. So then it's like when you see that for a wedding, your first thought is, oh. Ooh. It looks like those this kind of sounds bad, but it looks like those memes where it's like, um, oh, I know someone who can make the cake cheaper. Mm -hmm. And then that's what it ends up looking like. Right. And I, I want to say, like, I remember what it was like working with Fondant for the first time and mm -hmm. to do it for something like somebody's wedding day. I mean, I think this probably took the person hours and hours to do. Oh, totally. So I think that the thought and the love behind it is completely there. Mm -hmm. But... I somewhat agree with the comments that maybe you should have offered to do it for something a little bit less big scale if they had the big traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. Because I think that when you offer, like this happens a lot, when you offer to do something for somebody, uh, especially in a wedding situation and you're going to do it for free or whatever, mm -hmm. it's 
it feels very obligatory. Yeah. So like sometimes people will say things like, oh, I want you to be able to relax at my wedding. Like, no, you don't have to do anything. And that's like their nice way of being like, oh my gosh, please don't do that. So I think that when you offer to make somebody's wedding cake. Yeah. You need to have some level of skill to back it up. It's a good point, but I feel like it just also depends on the person. Completely. Because like, maybe like, maybe this person was totally casual, and yeah. it was like the wedding cake does not matter to me, and it means and maybe this made her tear up on the day. Like it means so much to me that you spent the last eight hours slaving over this yeah. cake. Or maybe the friend who made the cake has always liked baking, but has never tried something on this level. Yeah, so and the friend like, wanted to give an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. We just. Yeah, like it's hard to say when we don't know the context. Did you find out the context? I, uh, it just, it didn't say, I don't think it said any more. I think the person was probably a bit mortified that they like posted this and then got that many comments about mm -hmm. it saying that it wasn't good and it wasn't okay. I wonder if the response would have been a little different if they had posted a picture of it at the wedding. Like maybe they had a nice well, and display. That, and that was the other part of the comments. They were saying how dirty your work area is. Yeah, that's and what I was thinking. So too. gross and like with the little bag of trash. In yeah, the bag. like how dare you make a cake like this? But I mean, again, we don't know what the sentimental value is behind that. Yeah. I think that in this instance, I would give this cake a pass because it's not a company trying to sell me something. Oh, yeah. And then having this giant cake fail come out of it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we were looking at it uh, with a different background, like if we cover up all of this, oh, yeah, it and makes you, it look a little better. Totally. And if you had like other wedding florals at the base of that cake, yeah. it could probably look totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Like hide the, the rough. Yeah part where it gets cut off. Yeah, because that probably is the roughest part of the cake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything else looks okay for, I, I assume this person hasn't made yes, a cake Yes, this before. was their, like, first attempt <laughs> first at a wedding ever. cake. Yeah. 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 It's not that bad, honestly. I have seen worse. <laughs> Someone making a very tall-looking cake. Because I tall remember... Tall-looking cake, okay. Um, I know you've made that one Minnie Mouse cake. Yes. When your daughter turned two. How tall was that cake? Like Over four feet. Yeah. Yeah. I've never made a cake that tall, except like the one time when we did it on the baking show. Yes. But that wasn't just me doing it myself. Of course. I was collabing with um, other people. Yeah. Like a team. So you have experience in making a cake like that. And this person is making a giant okay. Wednesday themed cake. Ooh, Wednesday. Fun. <gasps> it is so fun when you get to work with this much cake. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, when I first saw this, I immediately thought of your Minnie Mouse cake. It looks so cool though. It looks amazing. I really want us to do like just one big cake like this. Yeah? Let's do it. Oh! I have never thought to make eyeballs like this, but it makes total sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so scary before all the details. Honestly, goes though, on. the sculpting is quite amazing though. Yeah. Yeah, like look That's at so that. Good. Yeah, that looks amazing. I feel like she nailed um, Jenna Ortega's lips. Uh huh. I still haven't watched this show yet. I know. What? I'm behind on the. It's trends. good. I wouldn't say it's like mind blowing, but I liked it. <laughs> wow, the ears alone. What was she making this for? Just for fun, or? Not sure. I give major props to people that can do this level of realism. I know. Because I can't imagine that somebody would have ordered this. So it no. must just be for fun, right? Or maybe an event? She got hired? Like, see, if I were doing a realistic cake like this, I for sure would have to take, like, a cast of the person's face and then <laughs> try to, like... Because shifting your brain, right, from something that is... Well, I guess if you're... If you're looking at a picture, right, like a 2D picture, mm -hmm. and then you're having to shift into making it into 3D, that's really tricky. Yeah. Wow. 
I want to do this. I want to sculpt a cake to this degree. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Food safe first. <laughs> yeah. Wait, she dropped the entire head on the floor? Yeah, she had to make a new face. I would have cried. I know. Whoa, the level of detail. I wouldn't call that a cake fail. She says she was so disappointed. She just had to give up, she said. So, okay. <laughs> I think that sometimes when people who don't have an artistic eye see something like this and then see someone like her saying this is such a fail, thinks maybe like they're fishing for compliments. But I truly believe her when she says that she believes it to be a fail. Mm -hmm. The only reason that I agree with her that it is a fail is that when you spend that many hours doing something like that and I then know. it doesn't come out how it should, like truthfully, that did not look like Jenna Ortega uh -huh. at the very at end. The end. Yeah. It did look like Wednesday though. Yes. Right? Like we're just associating Wednesday with Jenna Ortega because she played Wednesday, but Wednesday is really anything yeah. anybody with the black braids. exactly so in that instance i'm like that's a win because it you can definitely tell that that's trying to be wednesday mm -hmm. it's not jenna ortega yeah but it is wednesday yes what what made you want to show this one to me well it's like also like because the fact that it was um one of those huge sculpted cakes, cakes yeah which i know that you like and mm -hmm. you've done once mm -hmm. um but it's just it's one of those fails where it's like it's only a fail to her yeah. because she was the one making it. Yeah. And like, you understand what that's like and I understand what that's yeah. like to do something and then it doesn't go the way that you want and it still looks pretty good and everyone's going to like it, but just on the inside for you. And how many times have we had that happen? So many times. Like, interestingly, with that Minnie Mouse cake, what happened was uh, my friend had actually made the head portion before, mm -hmm. but it was like all wrong like the oh, no. the proportions were just wrong so then i ended up redoing the whole head and so the head looked great looked yeah. way more realistic but then the balance was all off really so we had to like really like pull like the pvc pipe with with like string and stuff to like hold it up because really? it just because back then too we weren't that great at like the structure inside like mm. who makes a four foot tall cake right <laughs> And yeah, we weren't great with the structure inside. Yeah. So we didn't use strong enough piping. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it was like wobbly. Right. And so the original head that she made, and so it's interesting that she had difficulties with her head, because yeah. the original head she made didn't look like Minnie that much, but it was more balanced. Right. Whereas the way that I made it, I knew that there was a lot more um, on the snout area mm -hmm. that had to like, be pushed forward more. Like there's a lot uh, more that happens here. Right. So then the original hole that was made on the cake just didn't fit right on the head. And so right, it was all right. like disproportionate. Wow. But that is the struggle that you go through with cakes like this. And I will say obviously Minnie Mouse's head is way easier than to do than a face. A, yeah, a human yeah, face. Yeah, a human face. But like I'm so impressed with the body. I know. And, and the amount of like detail she put in. Yeah. Yeah. I just imagine her disappointment after dropping that head. And so what, I, I just wonder what she did with this cake afterwards. I don't know. What did the comments have to say about this one? Let's see. <laughs> Disappointed, I can't even bake a ready-made box cake without burning it. Yeah, disappointed with the amount of cake wasted while shaping it. Eh, that's <laughs> just the name of the game, guys, if you want a sculpted cake. Yeah, yeah, we are our own worst critic. Mm-hmm. But yeah, most of them are, you're so talented, it's incredible. Because it really is. It is. But I understand on a cake level yeah. how that would have felt. 
yeah. all that product, all that time. Only for it to for it to not look how you envisioned it. Yeah. After it was going so well too. I know. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. Was that Wednesday cake a cake fail? And regarding the wedding cake, would you have a hard time <laughs> saying to your friend if you knew they weren't a super high level cake artist, no thank you for the wedding cake? Or would you want something that was super heartfelt but maybe just didn't look perfect at your wedding? Stay tuned for more fails because we have so many more to come in the next, what, like four, five days? Yes. Until Christmas. Bye. Bye.